Welcome back. We're continuing on our third job. We got Espresso Tales. Although books have always been an important part of her life, Maricat isn't a stereotypical bookworm. She spent the last few years exploring the world, and with her house serving as more of a pit stop than anything else, now she'd like to slow down a bit and share the books she's collected over the years with others. She needs someone who will help her change her living space into a cafe bookshop. Oh, <laughs> good morning. You must be the person who's going to help me achieve the impossible. Books, people, coffee, engaging discussions, authors' meetings, poetry slams, and many more. This house has been quiet for far too long. I'd like to open a bookshop cafe. I can see it with my mind's eye so vividly. We'll make use of the empty garage and courtyard, make over a part of the ground floor. The ground floor will house the guest bathrooms, the garage will be the heart of this place. A cozy space full of soft armchairs, fragrant coffee, and hand-picked books. Oh, right. You'll find the books in the garage. Please, place them on the shelves. The courtyard's looking great. Just need to get it ready to be a part of the cafe. Okay, that sounds like fun. Garden. I'm gonna put this here. Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, I do highly recommend seeing the other ones before you uh, give me your time, but it's okay. Uh, it's very interesting to be in a dine out because I have made so many food uh related builds using workshop items so it, this is just absolutely fascinating to me to come here and uh, do this change my mind here Oh no, you can't pick these up. What goofed? And where's that? Huh? Not even. I don't. I don't like it. Well, I'm gonna live with it. I don't like it. They're all coming forward just a smidge. Hey, let it go. It's not a big deal. <laughs> no one but me notices, and you guys, because I pointed it out. If I move this, will it help camouflage the fact that the chairs aren't even? There's this adorable game we played a while back um, where you colored uh, the world in as you were playing. And this really reminds me of one of the cafes that was in there. Start the building on fire, please. Sell that? Do sell that. 
Um, but I may <laughs> have caused a problem. <laughs> uh, by, uh... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's not the double door. Yes, you go here, but we'll figure it out. Okay, you went green once, but now you're like, ah, uh, I don't... There we go. We're leaving it. We're leaving it. Okay. We're <laughs> done here. In we go here.
cupcakes, a small kind of American style cakes, typically filled with vanilla cream and topped with chocolate or icing. All of that. I can't open this door. This door is interactive. Is not interactive. Done here. All right, what are we looking at? It's a bright peach, you say. I'm kind of finding it fun and interesting that in these, uh, in this DLC, so many of these places are, are restaurants or eateries that are built into someone's home. In the U.S., it's, that's nearly impossible. Um, Tax-wise and the way that they label houses and, and places to eat, they, they very much like to keep them separate. <laughs> really hard to get a license to sell food or in your house like they just don't allow um there's a lot of, of problems with that and i think canada too if i remember right so um i forget where frozen district is based out of but i wonder if that's like a cultural difference because yeah um i and i've experienced it numerous times with people that I've known, both family and acquaintances, uh, who've tried to sell like their baked goods from their home, and uh, when the city finds that out, it it's a problem. Like it's a serious problem. So. Um, in fact, the, my most recent dealing with it is I worked with a woman who actually was looking to leave the job that we were working. This was pre-pandemic. Um, she was really wanting to leave where we were working, which I don't blame her because it was stress. And uh, she was a fabulous baker. She made some of the most creative baked goods, and they were delicious. They were very scrumptious. And so during the pandemic... She was cooking the items and then selling it from, like, her Four Seasons porch. And uh, the city found out, and it was a problem. Like, I think she was fined, and I don't know, there was a tax issue and a property issue. Like, it was a thing.
से Those here, I'm gonna get you or the bathroom. Feeling lamp to sell. Yeah, cool. Oh. Did they watch my videos? Because <laughs> this was always the thing I complained about was that it was really, really hard to figure out how they wanted uh, cabinets. And so you were like, that was a guessing game that you played, and once you figured it out, then you were fine, but... Based by your you go up. You do go up. I faked that out on so many builds to make that happen. Um Oh, that's so funny. Window. A window. Oh, I would want to go here. Oh, is the light in my way? The light might be in my way. Oh, I bet this is in my way. That. I just broke it by hitting it. Okay. Dead. Oops. Oh, I guess I don't need it. Oh, well, never mind then. This decoration is to die for. Oh, it's a lamp. Oh, sorry if you hear my dogs. Uh, they're barking at nothing. I checked. Sometimes they just like to bark. Hmm. 
Okay, before I place that. Or Mm. <laughs> if I was a table like this, where would I? is a tight fit. That's what she A very particular build, doesn't it? Okay, um... I was... If I was this thing, where would I want to be? Be honest, I'd want to be there. Help, poops. So I would want to 
wonder how many books I have played in my time of playing <laughs> this game. <laughs> I am sure it is a considerable amount. This is an adorably cute clock, though. That's a clock I would own in real life. Now, if this wasn't a job where I had uh, to do, uh, to stick to a budget, I would definitely put more on. I've made so many coffee shops. Really just fun. I I can by now. We'll still fit right there. All right. There we go. Second there. Reacting. Yeah, Getting a little nervous. Give or 
telling me about my budget, and I appreciate it. Uh oh. Oh, okay. That butt's in here? No? Oh. Uh, okay. But maybe it's supposed to be on this side? They're making me waste money. Oop. It's kind of funny how some of them will cause a leak and others won't. Uh, one time on a f family road trip, we were in a little uh, mom-and-pop diner having dinner. And uh, I was in a bathroom very similar to this, very tiny. And I thought I locked the door, but I hadn't. And a woman lo walked in. She opened the door. But just like this, it was open to everybody. And I'm pretty sure I flashed everybody in that, uh, in that building. And uh, so if you ever see me big bathrooms, I always try to tuck the, the toilet away from the front door. Uh, because I remember, I remember distinctly <laughs> the embarrassment of that. And too, like, my mom assured me, like, later that no one really had seen because the woman was probably blocking the doorway. But, uh, I like it. Done. This We are officially done, but I do want to run up the stairs and see what it looks like up here, just for your nosy sake. Bedroom up here. Oh, I got an office up here. Got it. 
And a bathroom. And what is the courtyard? Uh, who owns the courtyard? Okay, well, let's complete our room. Let's close some doors, though. Did I move that light back? Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't have to. Complete. <laughs> that view is beautiful. Okay. Let's take a peek and see if I can give you guys a sneak peek at the next job. Nope, that wasn't fun. Ooh, we got two jobs. Uh, we got... This one here, delicious nook of tin pavilions, or so quickly, quickly, and a rematch is a dish. <laughs> All right, well, guys, I'll see you on the next episode. Thanks so much for keeping me company.